Hi there, welcome to Quick Schools. When you first log in as a teacher, this is what you will see. Across the top left is a list of modules. Your list of modules may be different based on what your administrator has assigned to you. Across the top right is a list of links. And on the bottom right corner is the live chat feature. You can use this feature to speak with any of our technical personnel if you have any problems with your account. So let's get started. We're now looking at the home page, and you'll notice these two really big buttons. Um, these buttons are designed to guide you through setting up your account. So let's start by clicking on Setup Profile. From the profile page, you can change your basic details about yourself. You can change your password, or you can change your image. You can also change your theme. By default, every account comes with a melon theme. Let's change it to eggplant. How do you like it? Now let's go back to the home page. As you can see, we now have only one button left on the home page, and that is to request features. Let's do that. This is the features page. It lists out what plan your school is on, as well as which modules have been turned on. The administrator has the ability to turn on modules as well as to configure which users have access to which modules. If you would like access to some of these modules, all you need to do is click the checkbox next to the name of the feature. For example, if I want access to admissions, I just need to click on admissions. Click on yes to confirm. What the system will do is send an email to the administrator letting him know of your request. And that is pretty much it. Let's go back to the home page. Once you've clicked through all the shortcuts that you see on the home page, this is what you will see. This is what we call the dashboard, and it's divided into three areas. On the left side, we have an event list. Below that is the to-do list. And on the right-hand side is the live feed. The live feed works like a news feed and shows how users interact with the system. On the left side, the event list, you can post your own events. Let's post one right now. We're having a bake sale this weekend, and it's only for teachers. It shows you how many days are to go when it's within a week. You can also post to-dos. These are personal to-dos for yourself. And when it's done, all you have to do is click on the checkbox. If you need to add more to-dos, just use the plus sign like you have with the events. And that's all you need to know about the home page. Some of you may have access to the subjects page. This is where you would create subjects as well as enroll students into your classes. In some cases, your administrator will do this for you, but it's good to know how to do these steps just the same, just in case you need to make changes in the future. So let's start by creating subjects. Under subject name, I just create, I just type in the name of the subject. Let's say I teach second grade math. The abbreviation is optional. I click on add subject, and the subject gets created. Let's say I also teach first grade science. Click on add subject and I have first grade science. You'll notice that it automatically enrolls students based on the grade. I can further change the name of the subject by clicking on edit or I can delete it if I find that I'm not teaching this class this semester. So if I go to subject enrollment, this will allow me to change the students that appear in my subjects. As I mentioned earlier, when I added math and science for first grade, it automatically enrolls all the first grade students in my classes. If for some reason Edward Ann Watson isn't attending my math class this uh, semester, I can uncheck math for her and she will not appear in my grade book or my report card. I can also add students from other subjects. Let's say I want to add Adam Watson. He's now here. And let's say he's only taking my math class. So I uncheck him from science. Click Save. And 
now these are these students have been enrolled in my classes